Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up birthday notifications or birthday uh, reminders if you wanted that in your tool. Um, now, what, this is in my tool in the newest version, but I've had it so every time you open the tool, it will it will trigger it and it will um, notify you via message. Now, it it does get kind of annoying that way, I will admit. So, in this video, I will show you how to. Just add them into a list box and then you can press their name from the list and then send them a message that way if you want to. Um, just because it's a lot less annoying that way and it's much like more organised. Uh, so I'm just looking for a bit of room. It doesn't have to be that much room. But I'm just going to quickly grab a list box in. Uh, wherever it is. Uh, there it is. We'll just have a small one in here. And that is list box three. This is really messy, I know. I might take the time off camera to uh, organize it a bit more, but this will do for now. So list box three. Now we want to come into our form load by double clicking up here. And what we want to do is create a new function which we'll call right with the others. And we'll call it check uh, birthdays. And now we'll just go ahead and make that. So public sub check birthdays and what we want to do in this sub is uh, we want to get all of our users using a for loop or, uh, in our contacts anyway so as usual we've done this loads of times for each user and skype for com lib dot user in skype dot friends just the usual way uh, what we want to do this time though for each user is we want to check their birthday because each we have a option here if we type user dot and you can see that we've got a birthday option and it's only read only and it gives us a date uh, that date's useful because we can use it so we want to just check the date though so we can say if user dot birthday and we can press dot again and we can actually um, check the seconds the years and all stuff like that but what we're going to be using is the day of the year because we want to check or well, we got the day of the week or the date uh, we could use the date but if we get the day of the year we can check if that is equal to today which is a built-in thing um, it will get today's date on your computer uh, today dot day of the year so what that's going to do is and let me just create that that's checking if any birthdays in your user list is equal to today and if they are equal to today it's their birthday today so that we want to do something in this case what you want to do is add them to our little list box so list box three dot items dot add and what we want to add to that is user dot handle you could add the full name but I'm going to use the handle for a specific reason which I'll show you in a second because um, the handle is much more important than the full name so now that would add every time we load the tool that would add today's birthdays into this list what we want to do though is when this list gets populated considering there is birthdays today uh, we want to if we click that we want to go into the selected index change so this will um, be triggered every time we click an item within the list box um, so what we want to do is check what item we clicked and we want to do something with that item we clicked uh, in this case we want to send them a message saying happy birthday if it's just like a reminder or something what we want to do is we want to store the username to a uh, a string so we can use it more than once within this function so we'll just call it dim contact as a string and that will be equal to list box three dot selected item we want to have and we can put two string um, just to be sure that's going to a string and um, what we want to do with that is now we've got the contact name we can send skype.send message to the contact uh, because the selected item will be uh, if I go back to the form load the selected item will be the handle so the handle we don't have to worry about because uh, we're now being sent we're sending to the handle if that makes sense uh, but obviously you might want to get 
alerted before you send the message because you might click a username you don't like or don't speak to. Uh, we can do that by um, having a message box with a yes no option if you want to send the message. So we can do that by saying dim, uh, we'll call it, we'll just call it mess as an integer. And that int is going to be equal to a message box dot show. And the message we want it to display is do you want to send, uh, we can have their name plus contact. That's why we used it. Do you want to send contact? Uh, a birthday wish that'll do oops didn't mean to do that outside of here we need to give it a name we'll just call it birthday message and then we need to say message box button uh, we'll have just yes no and that'll be fine now what we can say is we can come down and say uh, if mess is equal to dialog result dot yes so that's if they press yes on our little message box then we want to send the message uh, we want to do skype dot send message and we want to send the message to the contact which they would have clicked and the message we can send is entirely up to you uh, I'll just say happy birthday to whoever and this message is global, so that will send to any contact you click within that list box. If not, then we don't want to do anything because they press no. So that should be it. We can launch that up. Um, I'm not too sure if someone of my contacts would have had a birthday today, but we can always find out. So we can just wait for this to load. It's taking its time. here we are just got to find where I put the so here it is so it turns out two people have birthdays on my list today so if I was to click it it says birthday message do you want to send and it's got the see the name that we clicked a birthday wish if I press yes that would send them a message um, but I don't really know these people so I probably wouldn't send them one uh, so I'm gonna click no and I could do the same for this one and you see this time we got the other one here um, but obviously this list can be empty sometimes if you've got no birthdays uh, but I might just go ahead and send one to him just to show you that it'll work so Zatlo Coex whatever as you can see here I've sent him a happy birthday but it, do it does look like he doesn't use Skype and you can see that's his name and there so that's how it works pretty simple it's also really nice um, Again, I, like I said at the start, I use it with the message box, but I probably will remove it in the future because it is kind of annoying. So this way is quite good. You get the option to uh, choose who you want to send a message to and stuff like that. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.